Hey everyone, I'm Polo, back with some more League things. Today we're just going to do a short video of a little Mark tutorial since there's a lot of new players to my channel and new players playing Kindred and things. I know I've done some more videos in the past, but I figured it was time for a little refreshment video. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. If you didn't like it, then dislike it, obviously. But let's get into explaining Marks. So for anybody who's new to Kindred, a lot of people think Kindred's Marks are entirely random, but they're not. They spawn in tier sets and they can also only spawn in the enemy side of the jungle or the river. So for example, with no marks your first mark will always spawn on a scuttle crab there's nowhere else it can spawn unless you somehow get a mark before an invade or something and then it could spawn on the raptors but if you have zero marks it will always be on a scuttle crab so for example if i fast forward the game it, the first mark will spawn on one of the two scuttles it's 50 50 random people are gonna always try to give you a reason of no it always spawns away from you no realistically it's random so your first mark will always be random and once the scuttle spawns as you can see it spawned on the top side scuttle so, knowing that, here's the first mark here. As soon as I kill this, this opens up two other options for marks because I'll have one mark. So once you have those two other options for marks opened up, you can kind of see the tier sets at the bottom left. Once you have the tier set up and you know what you have alive, if you know what's alive in the enemy jungle, you can force the mark to spawn where you want. So for example, if I kill that one and then I were to go over here and kill the Gromp, or if you know the enemy jungler killed the Gromp, and then you also killed the second scuttle where the enemy jungler did, the only place in the second tier set, which you can see at the bottom, is Scuttle, Raptors, or Grom, but it can spawn is the Raptors. So, for example, if I come over here and wait, as soon as the 40 second timer from that mark dying ends, this will mark here in a second because there's nowhere else on the map the mark can spawn. And it cannot do anything else. It has to be here. So now we just wait a second, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to fast forward it just because I want to just show... Yeah, I'm on. And you should be marking any second now. Boop, boop, boop. Or maybe I should have fast forwarded it, but oh well, I'm already committing to this. There we go. So there's the mark. As you can see, it spawns in that tier set. Now I have two marks. It can still only spawn on Scuttle, Gromp, and Raptors. So if I were to fast forward the game now, whichever one's going to spawn first is where the mark will spawn. So you can see the Scuttle spawning and his Gromp should also be spawning very soon. As you can see, the Gromp spawning. So the mark spawns at the Gromp because the Scuttle's not alive and the Raptors are still dead. And then if I were to kill this and fast forward it, the mark has to spawn on that top side crab because I still only have three marks. I'm still not at the next one. Oh, the chickens respawned. Okay. And then, yeah. All right. So I want to actually get to the fourth mark just to show where your next marks can spawn. So the next marks can only spawn on any of the enemy buffs or the enemy's krugs or wolves. So just to show you, this works on all tier sets because until you have at least eight marks, this is where they'll be spawning. If I kill a big krug, if I kill the red buff, and then I go kill this wolf. The next mark will have to spawn on his blue buff right here. So we fast forward and the mark will spawn on the blue any second now. There we go. There's the mark on the blue. So it's that simple to make the mark spawn where you want. As long as you know what's alive in the enemy jungle and you know what can be marked, you can easily just get the marks however you want. The only exception to this is obviously whenever there's multiple camps alive, you can't spawn, you won't know exactly where it's going to spawn. It's going to be 50-50. There also used to be a bug where the first Gromp couldn't mark, so I don't know if that bug was ever fixed or if it still just randomly occurs. If it hasn't, that can sometimes happen where the first enemy Gromp will just refuse to mark. Uh, other than that, the only other things to really talk about with marks is when you're marking an enemy champion with your bar, it will end up with an 8 second cooldown from once you click them. After 8 seconds, you'll be able to actually attack the enemy and kill the enemy, and that's pretty much the only main thing with marks. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a refresher video on how to manipulate marks. It's just a very simple concept. You already know that, like where they have to be. Because I left these alive, there's nothing that's going to mark here unless the full wolf camp's dead, but it's not. So, if I were to kill this, and then obviously I'll show one more time, fast forward until the wolves respawn or the krugs respawn, whichever one. It would mark over here at the wolves. I do not believe the Krugs should actually be able to respawn because I left the second big Krug. Yeah, but these can't respawn, so it has to be at the wolves next. So if I just come over here and fast forward again until the wolves spawn. Your team has destroyed a turret. Come on, spawn wolves, spawn. There we go, the wolves are alive. And as you can see, they're the mark on the map right here. 
that's uh that's just it you pretty much always spawn in that tier set i highly recommend re like memorizing your tier set again it's at the bottom left of your screen it is scuttle i have a few of no marks if you have one to three marks it's scuttle or enemy gromp or enemy raptors if you have four to seven marks it's enemy it's the enemy buzz the enemy wolves or the enemy krugs and if you have eight plus marks it's only on dragons heralds barons stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys tomorrow with probably a video of testing the buffed out Conqueror on Kindred, and goodbye.